So the same people that are walking around not knowing who they are today, calling themselves black, Hispanic, Native American, and not even considering who they are, the Bible says they are the Israelites, according to the Bible. Remember when I got your attention earlier, you said you didn't want to miss the meal that you were about to get. But what you got to realize, this meal that you're getting right here is from the Word of God. Word. That's going to be better than any food that anybody gives you. Get that in Matthew 4. Look it up. Stay right here. Right. Get that in Matthew 4 and 4 real quick. See, a lot of times when we fill up, our, when we fill up our, our bellies physically with food, we also get filled spiritually with different doctrines. We think that this world, as long as they feed us food, we're fine. But then at the end of the day, as long as we eat, we still don't know who we are. Right. Get that. Matthew chapter 4 and verse 4. Uh -huh. For he answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone. Man's not going to live by bread alone. You know what's so crazy? Even though a lot of us are poverty stricken, even though a lot of us say that we don't have money, we always find a way to eat. And even when we get full, at the end of the day, do we truly know who we are? Right. Do we truly know that we're the Israelites according to the Bible? Do we truly know that Christ is a black man? Do we truly know that the Bible is true and for the Israelites? Right. Read. But by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. So what does that mean? Every time you come to the Bible, you're hearing the word of God. Right. Every time you come back to who you are, you're coming to the word of God. That's the food that we need in our communities today. Right. That's the food that we need for our nation today. Right. Hey, my brother, what's going on? How you doing, man? What's your name, man? Come talk to us, man. We brothers. Let me ask you something. What is your nationality? Do you know? Okay, that's cool. That's cool. We here to help. Get out there, one and three. At one point in time, we didn't know our nationality either. You have, you familiar with the term black, African American? You familiar with that term? Yeah, come on, come through, come through. So a lot of us didn't know who we were. Let's read the scripture. Come on. The book of Isaiah, chapter one, verse three. The ox knows its owner, and the ass his master's grip. But Israel. Now stop right here. Now, I don't know if you was paying attention. We was reading about two animals. It says the ox knows his owner and the ass his master's crib. But then it said the word Israel. So let me ask you something. Have you, are you familiar with Israel, the Israelites? What do you know about them? Do you know that you're an Israelite according to the Bible? Huh? You say you are? You said the light Israel? Enlighten him. Enlighten, okay, all praise. Let's start again. The ass knoweth his owner, uh -huh. and the ass is master's grip, uh -huh. but Israel does not know. So just like how the Bible says Israel doesn't know, there's a nation of people on earth today that don't know who they are. But what is that saying? Read it again. Israel what? But Israel does not know. Uh -huh. My people does not consider. So the same people that are walking around not knowing who they are today, calling themselves black, Hispanic, Native American, and not even considering who they are, the Bible says they are the Israelites, according to the Bible. That's who you are. Now, remember I was asking you, I said you go by black, African American. You heard those terms before? Where do you think that came from? You can be honest. Where do you think that came from? You said somebody need a what? Mm. Right. And actually, you know, that's biblical. Get Psalm 49. Because you said whoever, wherever somebody, you said wherever place somebody goes to, they name it after themselves, right? That's actually biblical. Read that. The book of Psalms, chapter 49, numbers 11. Uh -huh. The English thought is that their houses shall continue forever. Now, I want you to pay attention to something because we're talking about who gave us these names that we, that we have now, black African-American, right? But we're about to read about a certain nation of people, right? Read this from the top again. The English thought is that their houses shall continue forever. The same people that gave you African-American black, 
Their inward thought is that their house shall live forever. Who is that? The so-called white man. The nation of people that hate your guts. Read. And that their dwelling places to all generations, they call their lands after their own names. So just like how you said, wherever they go, they come to different lands, they name it after themselves. That's according to the Bible. So just like how we went Africa, we think of African American. Do you know that Africa is named after so-called white man? Leo Scipio Africanus? We just read, read the scripture again. The inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever uh -huh. and that and their dwelling places to all generations. Uh -huh. They call their lands after their own names. So they call Africa after their name. They named that. Or America. You know America is named after America Vespucci? Another so-called white man? But we're reading in the Bible that wherever they go, they name the lands after themselves. Right. So what does that mean? The people that are here right now, they know who you are, but you don't know who you are. Right. What's your name? Dre? Ralph. Ralph? Ra. Ra. Okay. Okay, that's an interesting Ralph. name. Say that one more time. Ra. Okay, all praise. I'm Sammy. So what I'm here doing, we're showing our people who we are according to the Bible, right? Now, I got a question for you. What have we done to the point to where we're in this position to where we're in a land of all oppressors, they named it after themselves. We see our people walking around not knowing who they are. They'd rather be amongst the Grecians, the other nation that had them in slavery. What have we done to be put in this position, man? You said war? Okay, I like that, I like that. They try to take over the whole time. There's enough space. There's enough land mm -hmm. for everybody to have their own acres. Okay. Every single person has their own acres. There's a lot of earth. But what do we do? We tear it down. We can travel, look for more territory. Mm -hmm. Because we're travelers. And instead of being neighbors. You said instead of being neighbors? We try to take over. Neighbors to everybody or neighbors amongst ourselves, our nation? So you, so you think it for everybody. So then let me ask you this then. So are you saying that everybody is equal? Are you saying everybody should stand? That's true. And actually, you're exactly right. Well, but this is the thing though. But this is the thing though. With us, everybody else can do what they want to do because they don't have a God. We do. Right. And because of our disobedience, that's the reason why we're in the bottom of where we're at now. Matter of fact, get that in, um, was it, um, you're the only family I know throughout the earth? Amos. Amos, get that real quick. Get that real quick. Let's just start there. Because you were saying, every, you said everybody is stinks, right? But let's just show you how we're different from the other. Matter of fact, hold that. Go to Deuteronomy 7. Let's show you how we're different from the other nations. Let's start here. Let's start here. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. So, for one, we know this is speaking of the Israelites because when you jump to Deuteronomy 1 and 1, it addresses who Moses is speaking to. He's speaking to Israel, which are today the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Brother Ra, I hope you're paying attention. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Hey, Brother Ra, we're reading out the Bible how we're separate from every other nation that's on earth. So just like how you said our instincts, that's true. But at the end of the day, we have a God that we can go back to. That's the importance. Read. The Lord thy God, did not say his, he set his love upon you. What you say, Brother Ra? Huh? Keep reading. The Lord thy God did not set his love upon you nor chose you, because you were more in number than any people. Hey, so, hey, so just bring them brothers over if they got any questions. We out here for our brothers. So we're reading right now how we're separate amongst the other nations. We're above the other nations, above all people. So what does that mean? Hey, what's going on, family? How y'all doing? I got a quick question for y'all. Are we above all people as a nation? You know what's so crazy? We're reading out of the Bible, the book that's two and four Israelites, and nobody wants to listen. Right. Everybody thinks that they're equal with the people that they're with. Read it from the top again, Deuteronomy 7. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. 
the Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Our people have been beat down in society so much, they don't even, they don't even see the goodness in what the Bible says. It said that we've been chosen. Do you all know what it means to be chosen? Out of all the hell that the other nations put you through, you're chosen by God. Right. That should be a morale booster right there. That should give you some type of confidence. But it's because we don't know who we are. We want to live like the other nations. Read. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Now, I know I'm not the sharpest tool in the toolbox, but I just the Bible just says that we're what? Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Hey, what's going on my family that's walking right here? Hey, are we above all people on the face of the earth? That's a quick question. It's a serious question. Are we above all people upon the face of the earth? Okay, what makes us that? Let me ask you this. If we're above, does Jesus love everybody? Nobody wants to answer that question, though. Keep it. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth, the Lord, the Lord did not set his love upon you, nor chose you, because you were more in number than any people. But you were the fewest of all people. But the Lord, but because the Lord loved you, it said because the Lord loved you. You, black man, Hispanic man, Native American man, those of the diaspora, the Lord loved you. Read. But because the Lord loved you, uh -huh. and because he would keep the oath when he had sworn unto his fathers, uh -huh. and had unto his fathers that he, the Lord brought unto thee with a mighty hand, uh -huh. and redeemed you out of the house of the bondmen. We know this talking about the Israelites, because what history can you read of other nations being in bondage in Egypt, and the Most High God raising them out? That happened to the children of Israel. The children of Israel were the ones that went to Egypt. And the Most High God raised Moses to lead the children of Israel out of Egypt. That's talking about us. We're the ones that are above the other nations. But you know what? We decide to live like the other nations. Get uh, envy down, not the oppressor. Proverbs 3.31. Let's get that real quick. Because we come out here all the time. But then when we see our people, they think that they're equal because they're at a festival on Saturday, right? And you're amongst the people, they may sell you food, sell you jewelry, all these different things. You think that everything is good. So what happens? You continue to start wanting to live like them, right? But let's see what the Bible says. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 31. Uh -huh. And be thou not and be thou not the oppressor. The Bible says, and be thou not the oppressor. The oppressor is the one that called you black African American. The oppressor is the one that said you're three-fifths of a man. The oppressor said that you could call your women B's and, 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 and H's and all that stuff like that. That's what your oppressor has told you. Read. And choose none of his ways. And we're not to choose any of his ways. That means his politics. That means his religion. That means his philosophy, his sports. We're not supposed to do that. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Oh!